Thousands of war veterans in Zimbabwe say they are tired of corruption, tribalism and dictatorship. They insist from now on they will no longer vote for a party, but for individuals who they feel will put the interests of the people first. Many fought to liberate Zimbabwe from white minority rule and made sure President Robert Mugabe was elected in 1980 and kept him there. They say he's being influenced by a faction in the ruling ZANU-PF party known as G40, alleged to be linked to his wife Grace. We are never going to vote for someone's husband. We vote for a presidential candidate. But when that presidential candidate reduces himself or herself to a family level, then the power, the center is no longer holding. The war veterans were instrumental in seizing farms from white commercial farmers during land reform. But nearly 20 years later, Kilian Mavuti says many of them got nothing in return for their loyalty and they are struggling financially. Most war veterans are having the pieces of land which they were allocated being taken away from them. Again, that's the most painful thing. Well, they fought for the land and that land is taken, being taken away from them. Speaking out in the past has had consequences. Some liberation war heroes were expelled from ZANU-PF for causing divisions in the party. Last year, some war veterans held a meeting in Harare where they were accused of saying President Mugabe should step down. They were arrested and charged with undermining the authority of the president. War veterans say there is a leadership crisis, but insist they still support and respect President Mugabe, who is 93 years old. Their focus is the 2018 elections and what Zimbabwe could become afterwards. Leaders come and go. That's what we were taught in the revolution. But the people remain forever. So we want to create hope for the young generation. That's what we fought for. There were more than 50,000 war veterans in 1980. Now the association says there are just over 30,000. There are divisions over who will succeed Mugabe one day. It's been reported the president plans to meet war heroes sometime next month to hear their concerns. Harumatasa, Al Jazeera, Harare.